It's the spookiest time of year as we know, and the idea of throwing a Halloween party might be scarier than the ghosts and ghouls that you're inviting. But yeah. not to worry, <laughs> entertaining and hosting expert Liza Utter joining us today to show us how we can substitute the scary sugary snacks for guilt-free treats to ensure a healthy Halloween. Hi. Yes, and last minute fun party ideas as yeah. well. Okay, so first of all, we're going to start with, well, I don't know about you, but... Halloween can be scary for people. I'm not into the scary stuff. I like the more sickening and gross stuff. You do? <laughs> like the ghoul and the, uh, like the, the blood like, and all that no, stuff? No, no, no. Just like we had so much fun coming up with names. Like, for example, these drinks. We mm -hmm. just cut a pumpkin in half, like karate chop it in half, and made it into an ice bucket. And then we came up, had great time coming up with names for the drink. So this one is Scab Slime. That, that one's gross. fun. Spider Puss. <laughs> Like, <laughs> mummy lint. These are things you can do with your kids, and they have a really great time. Because okay. you know, anything gross is funny. Okay, so you said um, you chopped this in half. How I, did you really cut You just cut it with, like, a really sharp knife? No. You did not chop it in no, half. I did. No, you didn't. Well, not, not like that, but... <laughs> <laughs> with a really sharp knife. Not a sharp knife. They, My dad used to carve the pumpkins with a... With a machete, you know, it's like, uh -huh. this is not kid-friendly <laughs> crafts. But now they come out with those little teeny tiny, they look like saws. Have you seen them? No. You, I'm telling you, you sit there with this little saw and you go, nee, 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 all the way around, and oh. it makes the perfect cut. And they're very dull edges. They're so easy to use. So that's actually what I used. But okay, there you I go. So I did end it with the chop. I've never seen pumpkins this glittery and festive. How fabulous. They're great. Uh, my friend, Sage Raval, she owns this company called small shop and she, my kids did this with her and when I saw that I said oh my gosh something that I can handle because what do I always say it's not about perfection no, right we're yeah. just about having fun and no fuss and just have a great time so what you do and she showed me how to do this so my kids actually did I did this one mm -hmm. and as you see like all the paint, everything started coming off. That's okay. But I think it looks great. It does that still way. look good. Yeah. And that's the whole point. That's what I want people to do is really start connecting, having fun, and not worrying about everything being perfect. If it falls apart, if it peels, mm -hmm. there's no such thing as an accident. No, so. I love this one. Who made this one? My son. Oh, how nice. He's six. You must be so proud. Yeah, yeah. So how do you do it? Is this paint and then they just put the glitter on top? I'm gonna show you. Okay. So Sage gave me all the stuff. So what you use is painter's tape that sticks to the pumpkin. Mm -hmm. but Mm -hmm. then you can peel it off so you make some shapes. Okay, Kristen. Oh, wait, I'll hold this. Okay. Oh, you paint. Okay. Okay. Paint. So here, I have a couple of paint. I just use these basic paints right here. You can get them at your, um, Michael's, Michael's has them. Nice. Any of your craft supply. And, and then just paint. paint. It on top? Yeah. Okay. Just paint. You can paint right, look, there's, you don't have to stay within the lines. Isn't that nice? You can do it so simply. And then we peel the tape and it has this cool design. Yeah, exactly. And then with the glitter, what you do is you use a Mod Pod, it's called, mm -hmm. and it's like a sticky, um, glossy sort of glue type material and the glitter sticks to it. Very cool. I have yeah. to say, this is a little bit more fun than carving the pumpkin. I think so, it's too. so much work to it's carve. Right, and it's not messy. Mm -hmm. And the best part is each one can be different. I mean, how many different faces? Although you did have a guy on here <laughs> that did, like, the Michelangelo <laughs> of pumpkin carving. Oh, that's different. Carving. That's different. But, but this is way that's, more that's fun. That's above my pay grade. That's sure. for sure. So what you do, yeah. And so even with the paint, watch this. So you've got this. Okay, now take the top take off the of that. I'm going to hold this so that way the camera can see it. Okay. But um, pour the glitter on top. Now, obviously, we don't have the time for that, but you would let this Ooh. dry. Okay. And then, and not very long, and that then you nice. would peel the tape. Okay. So, so once it dries, it'll have the It'll the have, design. it'll have the, just, and that's it, folks. That's it. That's how easy it is. And like I said, you can do this for all different, um, all different shapes and sizes. And what I like, too, is if you use fall colors, mm -hmm. it takes you into Thanksgiving. It's yeah. not just about Halloween. This can be decoration on your table, and they don't rot as quickly. That's so nice. Okay, let's get they to this, this next uh, project oh, okay. before so we run this out of one, time. This one I really love. Okay. These are my, now, this is last minute party idea. So mm -hmm. get out the brown paper lunch sacks. <laughs> We're going to double bag it. Which we all have. Right? Lying around. Yeah. Do you? Yes. You, oh, you don't have kids. I don't. Do okay. But I make lunch for my husband. Oh, put it in a brown paper bag. <laughs> nice. There's something about brown paper bags I just love. Bring back memory. And these are recycled. All of these are organic products. Okay. So what you're going to do is cut or tear. You can tear it like this straight down. Okay, whoops, one at a time. We're gonna do this. So moms, dads, 
kids. Look how much fun. Okay, fun. I'm getting it in the paint, but that's all right. All right. The idea is you would do it all the way around, and then you're going to stuff. Now, these are the party paper favorites that I love. You can even give these out instead of I was going to say, what a great party favor exactly, to give to someone. Exactly. Okay. So you can bring them to your teachers. You can bring them to your friends. And you know what? These are stuffed with candy because people love candy. They sure so you do. you can stuff it with chapstick or bath bombs. Or whatever or so. you want. And then you put a stick. I literally went out and broke these branches off. It from looks my perfect. Yard. We are all out of time, but thank you so much for coming. Oh, it always goes so fast. And you're having fun. I know, right? every time. Thank you, Liza. Thank you for coming.